We've previously seen how in a vector space there are many different bases we could choose to construct it with, and the same is true in an inner product space. But in an inner product space, we also have the idea of orthogonality and the norm of a vector. With that in mind, it will often be advantageous to choose a basis where all of the vectors are orthogonal. But to talk about that, which we'll do in a later video, we first need to understand the idea of an orthogonal set and an orthonormal set. In this video, we'll see the definition and an example. Here is the definition. A set of two or more vectors in a real inner product space is called orthogonal if each pair of distinct vectors in the set is orthogonal. So you could pick any two distinct vectors from the set and they're going to be orthogonal. Their inner product will equal zero. Now, an orthogonal set in which each vector has norm 1, so each vector is a unit vector, that's called an orthonormal set. Here's an example in the familiar Euclidean inner product space R cubed. Let's take these three vectors v1, v2, and v3. Then this set S that contains them is an orthogonal set, meaning that every pair of distinct vectors in the set is orthogonal. We can verify that by computing the inner products. In this case, the inner product is just the dot product. The dot product of V1 with V2 is zero plus zero plus zero, so zero, so they are orthogonal. The dot product of V1 with V3, multiplying those corresponding components together, is negative 1 plus 0 plus 1, so 0. So those two vectors are orthogonal. The last pair of distinct vectors is V2 and V3, and their dot product we see is 0 plus 0 plus 0, so 0. The dot product is commutative, so of course we don't have to check v2 dot v1 and all those other orders. This suffices to verify that S is an orthogonal set. All of these vectors are orthogonal to each other. Then we may ask, is S an orthonormal set? Are all of its vectors unit vectors with a norm of 1? We can quickly see that the answer is no. For example, the length of the vector v1 would be the square root of 1 plus 1, so root 2. So v1 is not a unit vector, and so this set is not an orthonormal set. But we can convert it to an orthonormal set by dividing each of its vectors by their magnitudes to scale them down to a length of 1. So to obtain an orthonormal set from an orthogonal set, we just multiply each vector in S by the reciprocal of its length. That's of course the same as dividing by its length. To do that in this example, of course, we need to calculate those lengths. The length of a vector in the Euclidean inner product space R cubed is just the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of the vectors. So the length of v1, for example, is 1 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 1 squared, all in a square root. That's the square root of 2. The length of v2 is the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 squared, which is the square root of 1, which is just 1. So this vector actually is already a unit vector. The length of v3 is the square root of negative 1 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 1 squared. So that's the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. Now that we have all of these lengths, we can normalize the vectors by scaling them down to a length of 1. And so here is our orthonormal set. We take those three vectors from S and then multiply each one by the reciprocal of its length. V1 gets multiplied by 1 over root 2, V3 gets multiplied by 1 over root 2, and V2 does not have to change because it's already a unit vector. Actually doing the computations, we see those vectors here. 1 over root 2 V1 is written there, v2 is written there, and 1 over root 2 v3 is written there. So these vectors are all orthogonal to each other, but furthermore, they are all unit vectors with norm 1. And so this is an orthonormal set. Finally, here's a theorem which will be important in our construction of orthogonal and orthonormal bases. We'll prove this in the next video, link in the description. If S is an orthogonal set of non-zero vectors in an inner product space, then S is linearly independent. So tying this back to the example we just did, we had this set of orthogonal vectors in R cubed. 
r cubed has dimension 3, and since this is a set of three orthogonal vectors, they are linearly independent, and hence they must form a basis for r cubed. Since this set is also orthonormal, it happens to be an orthonormal basis for r cubed. Again, it's the fact that these vectors are all orthogonal to each other that lets us conclude it's a linearly independent set from this theorem. And it's a previous result that in a vector space of dimension n, a linearly independent set with n vectors will be a basis. So that's how we know this is a basis for r cubed. You probably already know another orthonormal basis for r cubed. Those are just the standard unit vectors 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. These vectors also are all orthogonal to each other, and they're all unit vectors. So together they form an orthonormal basis for r cubed. So one more time, an orthogonal set of vectors in a real inner product space is a set of vectors that are all orthogonal to each other. And if they all have a norm of 1, that is, they're all unit vectors, then what you have is an orthonormal set. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to select videos and extra practice, and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access all of the lecture notes used in this course. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.